Hey, what is up you guys? Brennan here with Digital Cynics. So a while ago I did make a tutorial on how to get side quest for your Oculus Quest 1 and 2. And basically I just showed you guys how to sideload games and apps onto your Oculus Quest 1 and 2 from SideQuest. I thought now would be the perfect time to make an update video to that. So I'm gonna re-go through the entire process again. And the reason I'm doing this is the Oculus app and SideQuest has changed a little bit. So I have had a lot of questions on my current video that I will hopefully be able to show you guys the answer to in this video. Now, before we get started, as I've said before, you are gonna need some sort of computer to do this process, and you are gonna need some sort of data transfer cable. So I'm using an Oculus Link cable. You can use the charger that the Oculus came with. You can use a phone charger cord. It just has to be a type A to type C or a type C to type C cable that you can plug from the computer into the headset. Anyways, enough wasting time, let's get started. So we are gonna go to the web browser and go to the website developer.oculus.com slash manage slash organization slash create. I will post this on the screen here and down below in the description so you can just either click it or copy and paste it. And once you're there, it is going to cue you to log into your Oculus account. So get logged in. Now, this may sound a little weird that you have to set up an organization and become an Oculus developer. It's more just a formality. Basically, we have to turn on developer mode on the Oculus in order to even use SideQuest. So it's a, it's a necessary step and you just got to do it. So literally name this anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and name mine Digital Cynics. YouTube, hit I understand, submit, agree, submit, and boom, I'm officially a developer, super easy. And we're pretty much not gonna have to use this website ever again. So go ahead and close out of that. Now the next step you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go to the Oculus app on your phone and turn on your Oculus Quest 2 so it's connected to your phone. And once you're in the app, you're gonna go to the bottom right menu. You're gonna go to devices. And then if you scroll down a little bit, it's gonna say developer mode. And you just have to make sure this is switched on. So I already have it switched on because I've already done this. Just you wanna make sure this is turned on or you will not be able to use SideQuest, it will not work. Pretty easy so far. So next up, we actually have to get SideQuest downloaded. So open up your web browser again and you're going to go to sidequestvr.com. And once you're there, you're gonna go right here to get SideQuest. And then you're just gonna pick which one is for you. So I'm gonna download the Windows 10 one. There's also Mac right here. So click on that, get that downloaded. Then go ahead and open that download up and just go through the typical install steps and hit finish. It should automatically open up SideQuest for you. And boom, you have SideQuest opened up on your computer officially. Now that you officially have SideQuest opened up, you may notice at the top left, you have this red dot and it says not detected. Now, this is when we're gonna wanna turn on and plug in our Oculus Quest into the computer. Now, go ahead and get that plugged into your Quest, and then you're gonna wanna put the Quest on. Now, this is a pretty important step. You're immediately gonna see a screen that says allow USB debugging. You're gonna wanna hit always allow from this computer, and then it's gonna say allow access to data. You're gonna wanna hit the blue allow button on the right. Now, once you have allowed that, go ahead and take your headset off, but leave it on and plugged in. You're gonna notice that red circle is now green and it says that your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 is connected. That is pretty much it though. It's as easy as that. You are now able to use SideQuest. So when you wanna reuse it again, just turn on your headset, plug it back in, open up SideQuest and it will once again connect. And then just to give you an example on how to download and where to find the app once it's downloaded and installed on your Oculus Quest, uh, I'm just gonna download this Ascend VR here. So hit download app. And then it is gonna ask you to either sign in or sign up or you can just enter some info here. So I'm just gonna do United States and then enter my birthday in and hit confirm sideload on the bottom right. Now you're gonna notice it says starting app install on the bottom, there'll be a green bar across from it. And then up here, you'll see a little pink one. You can click on that. And it is gonna give you the status of your download. And boom, it says that the APK installed okay. All right, so go ahead and unplug your Oculus Quest from the computer, put it on. Now this part is pretty easy. Just once you have it on, go to your apps on the far right. And then up here, you're gonna notice it says all, although you're gonna notice that what I just downloaded isn't gonna show up on your list here. So hit that drop down. go to unknown sources. And boom, right here, you're gonna see Ascend. And you just gotta load up the game and you're good to go. So yeah, overall, not a super hard process. Let me know down below if you thought that this tutorial was helpful, or if you do have any questions, I will try to get to as many as possible. So drop it down in the comment section. 
Also, as usual, give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful or if you want to see future videos like this. And once again, my name is Brennan. If you want to see future content on tech, games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Peace.